Okay, let's see, uh, uh episode two. Uh, let me just, um, unpause the game. I didn't mean to actually leave the, uh, episode two thing on the first episode, uh, just hang in there. Probably should have stopped the recording there, but here we go. Episode two. This is Wigglytuff's Guild. To form an exploration team, you need to reg register your team here. Then you'll have to train until you become a first-rate exploration team. Yikes! Isn't there something, uh, just a little odd about this place? No? Uh, I got Lonogia with me this time. I have to be brave. Pokemon detected! Pokemon detected! Who's footprint? Who's footprint? The footprint is Turretwigs. The footprint is Turretwigs. What? No, I have to be strong! You may enter. Someone's with you, so get that stranger to get up there. Uh, they probably been you, Lenogia. Yeah? They said to stand up here. There's a grate covering the hole. It's made so that no one can fall through. Still, it's really strange. Looks like it would tickle my feet, or... Hey, you, stranger! Get on the grate. Pokemon detected! Pokemon detected! Whose footprint? Whose footprint? The footprint is... I. Uh, the footprint is, um... Uh, what's the matter? Sentry? Sentry? What's wrong, Sentry Diglett? Um, er... Um... The footprint is... Maybe Chimchars? Uh, maybe Chimchars. What? Maybe? But... It's not a footprint that you normally see around here. Ah! That's pretty crummy. Checking the footprint of visiting Pokemon. That's your job, isn't it, Diglett? Yes, but... I don't... I don't know what... Uh, I don't know. What? What are they arguing? Sorry to make you wait. Yeah, well, it's true that you don't see any chimchar in these parts. But you don't seem too bad. Okay, good enough. Enter. Yikes! I'm so nervous, so jittery. But I'm glad we're finally allowed in. My heart's pounding, though. Uh, okay, let's go in. Ah, there's a hatch that leads underground here. Wow! So this is Wigglytuff's guild. So many Pokémon. I wonder if they're all exploring, uh, exploration teams. <laughs> Excuse me. It was you two that came in, right? Uh, yes. I'm Chatot. I'm, uh... Uh, the Pokémon in the know around these parts. I'm the Guildmaster Wigglytuff's right-hand Pokémon. Now, shoo! Leave the premises. We have no time for salespeople or silly surveys. Off you go, if you please. No, that's not where we're here. We want to form an exploration team. That's why we came. We want to be trained as an exploration team. <laughs> what? Exploration team? It's rare to see a kid like this want to uh, apprentice at the Guild. Especially given how hard our training is. Surely, the steady steam of Pokémon that run away from our rigorous training proves how true that is. Excuse me. Is exploration team training that severe? What? Well, no, no, no. Uh, it's not true in the slightest. A training program for exploration teams is as easy as it can be. Well, well, well. I wish you had told me up front that you wanted to be an exploration team. <laughs> His attitude suddenly changed, didn't it? Okay, let's get your team signed up right away. Follow me. Oh, anything wrong? Come on, over here. Quickly, please. This is the guild's second underground floor. This is mainly where the apprentices work. Team registration is this way. Come along, please. 
Wow, we're two floors under the ground, but you can see outside. Oh please, hush now. The guild is built into the side of a cliff. It's only natural that you would be able to see the outside. Oh. Now that we're at the Guildmaster Wigglytuff's chamber. Oh. On no account. I repeat, on no account should you be discourteous to our Guildmaster. Guildmaster, it's Chatot. I'm coming in. Guildmaster, I present you two Pokemon who wish to join our guild as apprentices. A Guildmaster? Um, Guildmaster? Hiya! I'm Mugglytuff. I'm the guild's Guildmaster. You want to form an expedition team? Eh, let's go for it. First, we must register your expedition team's name. So tell me, what's your team's name? Oh, our team's name? Wouldn't think of that. So, what do you think would be a good name for us, Lenogia? Okay. That team name. So, when I was a kid, I actually made my Pokemon's team name, uh, Poke Team. Real original. But the funny thing about that was, um, this game adds team to the name, so what it ended up being was Team Pokey Team. So, I'm not gonna make that mistake again. <laughs> We're gonna be called Team Something. Uh, and I really can't think of anything too special. But, um, I don't know. This is a really good, like, brainstorm right here. Like, what do I want to make this team? We're going to be a Pokemon team, but... Huh. I think I know something. Uh, according to the live no Lenovia reaction, I am a Nopon. So, I don't know. Xenoblade fan? Who cares? This team ain't gonna... It's not really too important what the team name is. So I'm just gonna do Xenoblade fan. Or fans. Team Xenoblade fans. Shout out if you're a Team Xenoblade fan. Like, if you're a Xenoblade fan, comment down below. Uh, let's see if I can even fit Xenoblade fan in here. Ooh. I cannot. Okay, that's, that's fine though. We'll just do Team Xenoblade. Or Xeno fans. Yeah, there we go. Comment down below if you're a Xeno fan. There we go. And there. Is the name Xeno fan okay? Yup. Xeno fan? Team Xeno fan. Yeah, that's a good name. It suits us. All settled then. I'll register your team as Xeno fan. Registering, registering. All registered. Yumta. Congratulations. From now on, you're an official expiration team. I present you with this commemoration. Is that a box? Look on expiration kit. Yup. It's what every expiration team needs. Quick, open it. Rocky opened the expiration team kit. There was an explorer badge inside. And a wonder map. And a treasure bag. Yep. There are all sorts of great items in here. That's your exploration team badge. It's your official team identification. And there's a wonder map, which is a wonder of convenience. Finally, there is a treasure bag. It lets you carry items that you find in dungeons. Your success as an exploration team can lead to bigger and bigger space for your treasure bag. It is a very wonderful bag. Have a peek inside your treasure bag. Rocky appeared into the treasure bag. A defense scarf was inside. A silver bow was also inside. Those two items are special. I'm sure they will help you on your adventures. Thank you. We'll do our best. Yup. But you're only apprenticing right now, so do your best to train. We will. Let's do our best, Lenogia. Yeah. yeah. I already know who's uh, gonna have the defense scarf. Dirtle is gonna be a tank. This is your room. Great, we got beds. 
you will live here while you work for us. Things will start uh, getting busy for you tomorrow. So rise early and start living up to our code. Don't stay up late. Go get to sleep early tonight. That is all. Oh nice, they just let us in and give us beds. A free hotel, even. Ah, uh, look at that moon. Oh, you still awake, Lenogia? I have been racing all day, uh, today over every little thing. But I'm glad I finally made myself come here. I thought Wigglytuff would be scary, but he seems pretty friendly. We're gonna be ex uh, we're gonna experience all sorts of things starting tomorrow. But I'm not very scared. In fact, it's the other way around. I'm super excited about the adventures we'll face. I'm feeling a little sleepy. Let's get for all tomorrow. Okay, Lenogia. Good night. Um. Now I'm suddenly apprenticing at the guild. I gotta admit, it's pretty exciting to be an exploration team. And it's fun to be friends with Rocky. But first things first, who am I? How did I turn into a Pokemon? How did I end up unconscious on that beach? I'm feeling sleepy too. Well, thinking about it won't help right now. I'd better focus on the guild work for now. If I do that, well, <laughs> everything should become clear eventually. I'll surely get to the bottom of this in time. Oh well, there's another save right here. Didn't really do much, but sure, let's do it. <laughs> save completed. Uh, team quick tip. You can save a record of your progress by climbing onto your bed from now on. So whatever you want to save your progress, climb to your bed. Oh, pretty handy. <laughs> My nose is all stuffed. The next morning. Hey. Hey there. Rise and shine. Ah. My head is pounding. What a ridiculously loud voice. It's almost blasted my eardrums. Hey, you got big ol' ears. Why are you still asleep? Wake up! Ah. My poor ears. Come on, step out of it. I'm Loudred, and I'm a fellow apprentice. If you are late for our morning briefing, you'll be sorry, so move it. Guildmaster Wigglytuff has got a big temper, and you want to make him lose it? Yeah, we that would be one very scary scene. I've got the goosebumps just thinking about it, yeesh. So anyway, I'm not about to get in trouble because you rookies got up late. So get in the gear. Ugh, my ears are still ringing. What did he say? Something about getting ready? Uh, oh yeah. We signed up to his apprentices, uh, Wigglytuff's guild, that's right. But that means... Ugh, we totally overslept, we gotta hurry, Lenogia. You're late, rookies! Hush. Your voice is ridiculously loud. Ugh. Everyone seems to be present. Very well. Let us conduct our morning address. Guildmaster, the guild is in full attendance. Thank you, Guildmaster. Please address the crew. Master Wigglytuff never ceases to amaze me. Yeah, you got that right. Yep, looks like he's wide awake. Ick, his eyes are wide open, but he's fast asleep. Thank you, sir. We all value your words of wisdom. Okay, Pokemon, take our Guildmaster's words of wisdom to heart. Finally, let's not forget our morning cheers. All together now. A one, a two, a one, two, three. One, don't shirk or work. Two, run away and pay. Three, smiles go for miles. Okay, Pokemon, let's get to work. Hooray! I should have some sort of echo thing for that. Gotta have multiple people talking. Hey, you shouldn't just be one around here. You two come here. Oh, uh, okay. What have we got in store? I love this theme song. You're just beginners. We'll have you start off with this assignment. This is the job bulletin board. Pokemon from various regions post a job requests here. You're aware that bad Pokemon are cropping up in greater numbers, right? <laughs> yup. The 
because the flow of time is getting messed up. It's a wreaking havoc, right? Which is why lots of bad Pokemon are appearing. The flow of time is getting messed up? Time? As in hours and minutes? Do they mean something has gone wrong with time here? Because of that, more and more bad Pokemon are popping up? What's going on here? Precisely. Time is getting out of whack has caused an outbreak of bad Pokemon. Perhaps because of all that, we have noticed an increase in the number of jobs. In addition, it's unknown if uh, this is because of time's influence. There has been a, a mass outbreak of mystery dungeons. Mystery dungeons? It's like the title! Oh my goodness, the title! So, Lenokia? You know how we got my relic fragment back yesterday? The place where we found it in the mystery dungeon. The mystery dungeon changes each time you go into it. There's different layouts and uh, different items every time you enter. If you faint in the middle of a dungeon, you'll lose half of your money, and you'll even lose half your items or more. Finally, you get kicked right out. They're very strange places. But every time you go inside, one, uh, there will always be new things to discover. They're really fantastic places to go exploring. Well, if it quite didn't fall, don't you? <laughs> that makes things much easier to explain. Jobs take all places in mystery dungeons. So, let's look for a job that you should perform. Ah, yes, maybe this'll do. Well, let's see it. Oh, really? Let's read it. Hello, my name's Spoink. An outlaw has run off from my most prized possession, my precious pearl. That pearl is life itself to me. I just can't seem to settle down if that pearl isn't in its proper place up top of my head. But I've heard my pearl has been sighted. It's said that to be uh, on a rocky bluff, but this bluff is reported to be extremely unsafe. I can never go anywhere so frightening. Oh, Sprintly Readers, would you be so kind as to go to the bluff and get my pearl? I beg for your help. Expression team members, from Spoink. Wait a second. We're gonna fetch an item that someone dropped? I'd rather go do something that's more of an adventure. I'd rather go look for treasure or explore unknown places, things like that. Hush. Yes. It's important that you rookies pay your dues. Now pay attention. I'll repeat the warnings again to make sure they stick. You'll be forced out of a dungeon and sent back here if either of you faints. You'll lose half of your money. And you can lose half your items or more. You'd best be careful. If you understood all that, I suggest that you go on it with the job. Huh. Ooh. I like this track. This must be the left entrance. Swink's mission description said the pearl's deep down on the B7 level. Sounds like a seriously dangerous place. Let's be careful. Let's do our best, Lenogia. <laughs> yep, you got it. Trenched Bluff, a new dungeon. <laughs> you and your partner can now hold one item each. Now that your treasure bag, uh, you can also keep 16 items in your inventory. Some items like bows work only if held by a Pokemon, so give them to your Pokemon. It's over. Okay. Yeah, I got that. Kind of funny how each one of us gives us one inventory, like it's Earthbound or something. Uh, well, I wish it was kind of like Earthbound. Imagine having 40 inventory slots for having four teammates. So let's give the uh, defense to Rocky, and then uh, give myself the silver bow. I forgot what this actually did. Yeah, oh, every stat. Except for speed, because speed is different in this game. Because I believe speed is basically turn order. <laughs> Sorry about that. Uh, rather, instead of turn order, it is... Uh, you just skip a turn, basically. Anorith. This is another rock type, because it's a fossil Pokemon, but it's also bug, I believe. Or I could be completely wrong, it's water again. Probably water, honestly. It just knows bug moves. Uh, they don't really do a whole lot. Is that three Aneriths? What? What is this? I guess I'll take the experience. Jeez. I'm just going to leer a few times. Scratch, that's not too bad. Uh, I got my own scratch right back at you. I do 12, you do 1 damage. Take that. Man, I really need a new move. I probably get Ember, probably level 8 or 9. I don't actually remember. Because I never really used a Chimchar in a whole playthrough before. Oh, Sleep Seed. Yeah, I know what that does. I uh, just put some to sleep. 
Just skip through here. Ooh. Lilip. This is one of the Pokemon used for the Ligma. The combination of Slugma and this guy. Lilip is a rock grass type, so I have a big advantage here. Ooh. Yeah, slowed. He just said was able to move twice. Yeah, that's how speed works in this game. <laughs> Am I still slow? Yeah, it was still slow. Oh, nothing here. That's unfortunate. I only completed the wrong way. There wasn't even an item at the end to compensate for that. Uh, let's just let both of our teammates do this. Ha. Huh. You think you can do something special? I really wish Turtle could actually move up. Maybe that's like a setting I should set. Ah. Probably not worth it. Ooh, level up to seven. Ember. So it was seven, not eight or nine. I was wrong about that. <laughs> Which means Turtwig should also level up too, yeah? Yeah. And that means, from what I remember, he gets... Leech Seed? I don't remember what he gets. Oh, nothing actually, okay. <laughs> it was either Absorb or Leech Seed, one of the early grass moves. <laughs> and with the phys physical special split, it's not that good. <laughs> so uh, we should probably find something better. Oh, does B just open the menu? Oh, that's really handy. We'll just go through here, go over these water tiles. Can't really swim yet. Yeah, like these guys right here. Uh, since he's a grass type as well, Ember should be neutral. Yeah, there we go. Does Ember go through multiple... Okay, it doesn't. Okay. Yeah, some moves in this game actually move two tiles instead of one. Uh, Ember is not one of them. Understandable, because it's an early game fire move. We'll just scratch that guy right there. We don't really need to level up at all, so I'm just going to move on to the next floor, not really do with the Pokémon. Team members will earn experience points. Uh, they'll get more HP, uh, raise stats, and possibly new move each time it levels up. Yeah, I know about that already. Geopebbles. Throw Geopebbles at distant foes. First, set them as your ammo. Use the item set option, and then throw them by holding L and then pressing R. Okay. So I'm holding L, doesn't really do anything. So what I think I have to do is actually set. Select detail, view detail. Okay, yeah, I can set that, and I can hold L and then R to throw. Oh yeah. Yeah, there we go. Okay, I get it now. I saw a shellless on the right side over there. Oh, an apple and a seed. XI seed. I actually don't know what that does. You can throw an XI seed at a tough enemy to make it dizzy and behave strangely. Oh, does it confuse? Causes hallucinations. Oh, a unique effect. Okay, I don't remember that. Big apple. Wow, not even a regular apple, just a big one? <laughs> this early? That's really good. Oh, hard. Uh, this guy's rock type. Is he water as well? I don't know. Oh wow, that just killed him. Oh right, he is bug. Okay. Because that would have been neutral otherwise. So I wasn't crazy about that. Maybe he's a water type when he evolves. Uh, we'll just look down here. I'm not gonna really waste my time on this. I'm just gonna scratch this guy. Move on. We're gonna go to the next floor. Because it's right here. Might as well, right? You don't really need to experience grind in this game. Not really much. During bonus XP, Pokemon must use its moves at least once while battling an enemy. Not just the regular attack. Okay. <laughs> Use the moves option in the menu to unleash one of these moves, or set the specific move for quicker access. Hold L and press A to set a move. <laughs> yeah, that's what I was thinking of earlier. Reset the move and then you can just hold L and A. That, that's what it was earlier in episode 1. I'm actually going to set it to Ember. Or actually, nah, Scratch is probably better because there's more PP on it. Oh, and the floor's right there. Perfect. I'm gonna use Ember here. And then I'll scratch the shell of as well. Oh, I miss. <laughs> there we go. Oh! Petra Berry. That cures poison. Yeah, I know about that. Another Shellos. I'll just uh, scratch you. I am running low on power points, but it's not too bad. I'm almost at the floor 7. If the Pokemon's HP gets low, it puts itself at a great risk of fainting from further enemy attacks. When this happens, just run away. Running is a valid tactic. I know this from Xenoblade. 
No damage? Yeah, just get this guy out of here. Ornberry. Oh, Renberry. Okay, yeah, I know about this one. Wait, you look close. That's not an A, it's an E. This is an Ornberry. Look-alike item. <laughs> yeah. From what I remember from the Ornberry, or, or Renberry, rather. Info? Oh. Where's my Ornberry? Oh, it's right here. Oh, it is like a Earthbound, right? I have two inventory slots. Okay. A food item that deals damage. It's also someone fills the belly. What's it look like from the Ornberry? Okay. I know what Blast Seed does. Eat this to breathe fire at the target in front of you. It's kind of like Ember, but way stronger. 50 damage if I recall. Stun Seed. <laughs> Read Stun Seed backwards. Uh, Mud Sport. This guy's too far, so I'm just gonna throw a rock at him. And then scratch. There we go. Rocks are really good in this game. It's gonna move down here. Come on, Turtwig. You can move down, surely. There we go. Uh, we're gonna use Ember here, because that'll do a lot of damage. There we go. Then, ooh, yeah. Turtwig does so much damage. What's his offense stat? Awesome. Leveled up. Two, two, two. All twos, okay. Stun seed? Yep, there it is. Alright, let's, uh, we'll just shell us, okay. Deal with that guy real quick. Ooh, another level up. Wow, my experience is uh, way higher than Dirt right now. <laughs> Probably because I'm actually using moves and he's not. I can't really play as Dirt Twig. Not right now, at least. Wish I could. In the early game. Uh, just throw a little quick Ember here. Might as well. There's no item here, so I'm just gonna go back down and go to the stairs. Don't want to waste any time. Floor 6. Oh, wow. <laughs> the stairs are right here. I was super lucky. Yeah, we can, uh... Probably just, uh, deal with the Pokemon over here first. Uh, there we go. That was just a kill. Drench Bluff Floor 7. We made it to our objective. Oh, look at that! It's all pink, it looks like bubblegum. This must be Spunk's Pearl! Let's really back with it. That also kind of looks like the pink gel from Terraria. Thank you! That pearl must be propped up my head, you see. I missed it so much. I just couldn't settle down without it up there. So I was just boinging and sporing in everywhere. Not sure why I'm covered in dings and bumps. But thanks to you, that long nightmare is over. You have my sincere thanks! Haha. <laughs> Protein! That's attack! I'll probably give that attack to my character, honestly. Calcium. Okay, never mind. I'll give the protein to my teammate, calcium to me. Because I think calcium is a special attack. Iron? Defense? 2000 G! All this money for us? Of course, of course. That does nothing compared to my pillow's value. Farewell. Wow. Let's see that 200 G. We're rich, little kid. We got rich just like that. Well done, team. Now hand that money over, if you please. Oh man, taxes? In my Pokemon game? Huh? Most of the money from jobs goes to Guildmaster, you see? And your team has shared of the money comes up to this much. Huh? Only 200 G. Or P, rather. That's awful. Well, that's the guild's rule. You simply have to accept it. Oof. We are robbed. Everyone? Thanks for waiting. I, uh, finished making dinner. Come on, dinner's on. Yeah! Much, 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 much. I love the eating. Eat, eat, eat. Eat that all up. Ah, I'm done eating. Excellent meal. I'm stuffed. Now I'm getting sleepy. Yep, off the bed. Good night, gang. Good night. <laughs> Love that moon. Sorry that the moon is so small in your uh, guys' end. It's big for me. Listen, Monogia. Wasn't today hectic? So much happened. But I'm relieved that our first job was a success. It was really upsetting how Wigglytuff's guild took most of the money. That's just the cost of training, I guess. You can't do anything about it. What well, made me really happy today was uh, getting thanked by Splunk. 
Oh, I'm getting sleepy. I'm going to sleep. Let's try our best tomorrow. Good night, Lunogia. Yeah, it always feels good to help people in need. Just a good thing of training. And that's it for this episode. I'll see you guys later.